Hi everyone, this is Cindy at The Rogue again with another in our series of backstage tours. This time I'm with Peter Bleasby, who's our master electrician at The Rogue. We've had fabulous lighting designers at The Rogue, Deanna Fitzgerald, Don Fox, Josh Hemo in, the, in recent years. They've done beautiful work for us. But the person who's really on the ground and up in the air for us is our master electrician, Peter Bleasby. Peter's been with us for seven seasons at The Rogue, and so much of what you see in the magic of lighting at The Rogue is due to Peter's wonderful work. So, here's Peter Bleasby. Hi, Cindy. So, what does the master electrician do? I ensure that all the required lights, colors, patterns, and other equipment are available for the lighting design team. I like to say that I provide the ingredients and they bake the cake. So that's a perfect segue to me being sat in my kitchen and the recipe of the day is extension cables. And why in my kitchen? Well, I'm locked down, I can't be at the Rogue. It's cooler in here than it is in my workshop and there's beer in the fridge behind me. So there's very, three very good reasons why it's my kitchen. So the cables I'm making are black, that's important, so they can't be seen overhead. Heavy duty, custom length, have connectors that will bounce and not break. When they're finished, they look like this. One end has a label, this one is circuit AB, which means where it winds up overhead is going to be between circuits A and B. And the other end is marked 6AB which means it will be on electric six, circuit 6AB. And the um, lighting design teams will call that either something like Baker, Charlie, or Buttercup Clover, depending on their middle. Now, how does the mundane extension cable affect our artistic endeavor at the Rogue? Well, believe it or not, it does. Any new show requires a reconfiguration of the lighting. But usually it's in the same area. For example, Arizona Theatre Company. The audience is always sitting in the same place. The actors are always on the same stage. The lights are overhead. They can plug into the same power supply. So that is relatively easy. However, at The Rogue, things are different because we change the audience-actor relationship every time which means that the lights can be required anywhere in the space. For example, proscenium format only requires lighting in one direction. The transverse stage requires it in two directions, thrust stage in three directions, theater in the round in four directions. So the problem is to provide power for up to 100 lights in any location without extensive rewiring and by the way, we've got no overhead access other than by ladders, which are usually have to be positioned over seats. So this could create some problems. Now our solution has been to install 160 and counting of these permanent extension cables in the roof. And they cover the entire rogue ceiling space. They total over 4,000 feet. And unfortunately, I'm intimately acquainted with every foot of them. So this helps us that we can hang lights for any typical show in five to six hours because lights are never far from an extension cable. It cuts the average time to hang a light down to about five to 10 minutes per light. And that means that it frees up hours, sometimes days for the lighting designer to get on with the really creative work of the visual aspects of the production. Now, we've recently identified some areas, thanks to epics like Moby Dick or corner stage presentations like Curious Incident, where we need more circuits. So I'm busy making up another 12, which we should install over the summer. Now, I personally have got a long history of making extension cables, and this award-winning picture is me trying to make my first cable when I was not quite three and a half years old. Well. That's it for now. Thank you for joining me. Back to Cindy. Thank you, Peter. And thank you all for another segment of Backstage at the Rogue. Bye-bye.